Hello YouTubers, Music Man 22 here, also known as Darnell Johnson, and well, you're gonna have to wait because I gotta put this radio back on Kiss. Yeah, you guys get to hear me go through the Cleveland stations. Cleveland and Akron, okay. Alright. So, I do, ha I do have it on Kick FM. It's on commercial. Alright. I'm going to save a little battery power uh, after all of this. As this iPod will probably be down into the, well into the 60s or the 50s when I get up. But... This is being recorded on Monday, but will be uploaded, or is uploaded, on Tuesday. Alright, so, I want to talk about what we did with the Baltimore trip uh, this Thursday, this past Thursday through Sunday. And I'll tell you this, that it was awesome. It was very awesome. It was an experience that... I could ever see like I don't know what it, I don't know what it was to me but it was an experience trip that I've ever seen um, I'm telling you from the first day that we got on that bus going there oh it was good and I knew I was already gonna see the um, I knew I was already gonna see the um, Um, the, uh, let me see. Ooh, okay. Anyway, I, was, I knew I was going to already see Megan Trainer. Okay, so here we go. As I was saying, I, uh, these days that I was preparing for this trip, I was already, I was already preparing myself with apps from Baltimore radio stations that I think I was going to like. I got those on my iPod. Went into the lab and the site center and started listening to Z1043. And Z1043 is Baltimore's number one hit music station. Shout out to Cruz and um, Stephanie or whatever her, whatever her name is. Um, but, but it looks like we're back high. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> um, I guess all I can say is this, it was a good trip, we got there on Thursday, um, and thank goodness that uh, our bus took us, it was really nice. So from Thursday we had the meatloaf and uh, mashed potatoes and the stream beans, I only had those three, everybody else had the mine. Everybody else had the Mancala, which is the, what is it, the cheese in a shell or something like that. But it honestly tastes good. It honestly tasted good. And I will give them that. It tasted really good. I, I liked it. Um, but, yeah, and then after that we slept in luxurious rooms and it felt so good. Temperature wise, it did feel so good. And uh, the weather in Baltimore was a whole lot better than here in Cleveland. I'll tell you that. Um, and radio stations, oh, I got to listen to some. I got to listen to some. There was 92Q. There was, of course, I mentioned it earlier, Z1043. That's their number one hit music station. And, uh, and then there was... Uh, Which, by the way, if this does ID future husband, that would be really nice. <laughs> um, okay. And uh, you can find, that way you can buy that on Steam. Anyway. Uh, Friday we had fun. We ate breakfast. I think we did go high.
We did go back high. Okay, so there's some radio news to even put with this. We did go back to 2%. I'm going to double check this. Oh, now 98.1's on a commercial. So I got to wait on 98.1 a little bit. But anyway, 98.1 WKDD is Akron's hit music station, but it's not a hit music station technically. Anyway, so to finish my story, Friday, I had a whole lot of fun. And how do I know this? Well... We had our meetings, and we did go to D.C. We took the tour of, uh, we, we went to the Capitol building. It was, it was really good. I had some chicken tenders and french fries, of course. And, uh, all of that. So, uh, we did go to D.C. We toured some of the stuff. We got to see the Martin Luther King Monument. And it was really good. It was just really, really, really good. I, I got to see that tour. That was really nice. Then we got back, ate a really nice dinner from that. And then it was just, it was good. It was real good. So, there we go. Then we went to sleep on Saturday. We had a few meetings and that was uh, it. We, we did eat lunch and stuff. So, uh, yeah. And we had some other meetings and then we went to dinner at a unique restaurant. And I guess it was sort of, you can call it that, it was kind of close to the Inner Harbor. Or it was in the Inner Harbor, anyway. Called Simpson Bites. Once again, the name of this uh, restaurant was called Simpson Bites. What a great restaurant, too. They had almost everything at the hometown buffet you probably would like. You might have seen it on Diners, Di Diners Drives, and Dines. So, uh, on uh, Food Network, which... Maybe somebody would leave me a comment and tell me when that comes on. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was featured there. And it was good, too. It was good. My lord, my lord, my lord, my lord. It was really good. Um, but, yeah, I had the chicken. I mean, I had the uh, cheeseburger and fries and stuff like that. I had it well done. And it tasted really awesome. And I, I liked it. And then we headed back to the Institute. Went to sleep. And then Sunday was, our, of course, our last day. Uh, ate a breakfast. Um, had, had, a, had one little meeting before we left. Took the tour of the Jernigan Institute. And saw the Tambrook Library. Now, I've never... I thought about recording a video of our tour. But I was like, that's probably not a good idea. Because my account hasn't been updated to upload for less than 15 minutes or anything like that. I'm going to change that um, today or sometime later. Maybe not today, maybe tomorrow, which is Wednesday or Thursday. I don't know. I'll see what I can do. Um, Wow. That's going to be a fun pool party. They're still 2%. Kiss FM is still in there, Mark. Yeah, okay, so our Kiss FM not high. I thought it was. You know, that's kind of funny. When we were at Simpson Bites coming back, coming up, uh, 
There were cars going by that were actually listening to Z1043. There were people who were driving by actually listening to Z1043. And that is a great, that's how you know how great of a station that is in Baltimore. Okay, so Sunday, once again, as I said, finishing the story. Um, after we took the tour of the Dernavian Institute uh, uh, to see the Tenbrook Library. And before we knew it, it was time to leave. And so we went back on our bus, back to Cleveland, had our one little stop, and there you go. And then we came home. It was 8.45 and cold and rainy when we got home. So it was technically already raining before it even made it to Baltimore. The rain was actually headed that way, so the weather was going from west to east anyway. So, there you go. There was the story of my trip to, or a summary of how the trip to Baltimore went. We actually did talk about some of the uh, issues. I brought up one important issue, and that is to be, that is the issue of where I'm at here. So, all right. Uh, this iPod will be between 80 and 90, more than likely the 80s, so I think when I wake up it'll be at least between 50 and 40, charge-wise, and, um, well, when I wake up today, I guess you should say, um, I'm already up, but, um, by the time I get done recording this, my iPod probably would have been down in the 80s or 70s, and then when I went to sleep, yesterday or last night I probably would be in the 50s or the 40s so there you go that's the story of my trip to Baltimore how many minutes do we have left what was it what was your last time 12 minutes was the last time okay so um I thank you all for listening. If you have any questions, be sure to comment. You can even leave a questions in the comments below. Have a good day, everyone. Enjoy your Tuesday. Stay G'd up and praise the Lord.